Hello and welcome to Find Cells That Contain Text. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we're gonna look at how we can write formulas that identify certain text strings that fall within cells. Exercise one. All right, in this first exercise, we're gonna get warmed up with the search function. And basically, I had ChatGPT write me an Excel poem, and what I wanna do is identify any of these cells that contain the word Excel. So, equals, and we're gonna use the search function. And what are we gonna find? We're gonna find the word Excel in closed in quotes. Where are we gonna look for it? We're gonna look for it in this cell to the left, close function and enter. If it's not found, it gives a value error. Let's fill this formula down. And now we can see that if the word Excel is found, we get a number rather than an error. And the number represents the position within the text string. So what we have at this point is error if it's not found and a non-error or a number if it is found. Now we need to see how we can convert these into true or false values. Let's go to the next exercise. Exercise two. Okay, we're basically starting where we ended off the last exercise where we use the search function to find the word Excel, and now we need to convert these into true or false values. So one way to do this is by wrapping an is error function around the search function. Is error, open paren, close function, and enter. And now we can fill this down, and what we see is that we have true or false values. True means that Excel is not found. False means that Excel is found, and that's like the opposite of what we want. So is there a way to flip these? Yeah, and the way that we can do that is by wrapping a not function around the whole thing, enter. And that basically reverses it. So now we can see that we have false when Excel is not found, that makes sense. And we have true when Excel is found, and that makes sense. So depending on what we're working on, we could stop here. But if instead we wanted to actually highlight these with some kind of formatting, then we can use conditional formatting. And we're gonna do that in the next exercise. Exercise three. So the way we apply that same logic with conditional formatting is by highlighting the cells and then going to conditional formatting new rules. And what we wanna do is we wanna use a formula to determine which cells to format. And our formula is basically what we just provided. And we could technically copy paste, but in this case, we're just gonna do it again. Not is error search Excel in cell B9. Close the search function, close the is error function, close the not function, and then let's click format. We can pick any kind of format we want. Click okay, okay and now we've got it. And so this is dynamic, so if this value was gonna contain the word Excel, then it's gonna be formatted accordingly. Hopefully this video provides several different ways to find cells that contain specific text. Thanks so much for joining me, have a great day. Hey Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table, and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 